Pipe used for sanitary sewer construction is manufactured from various basic materials. Each type of pipe is selected based on its ability to meet the requirements of the application. There are two commonly accepted classifications of pipe, rigid pipe and flexible pipe. Now let's look at two types of rigid pipe. Asbestos cement pipe, or ACP, is produced from asbestos fibers in cement and is usually from 4 to 36 inches in diameter. It's used for pressure and sanitary sewers. These pipes are subject to corrosion where acids are present, and when improperly bedded, they are subject to shear and beam breakage. Another type of rigid pipe is concrete pipe. There are two basic types of concrete pipe, reinforced and non-reinforced. Reinforced concrete pipe normally runs from 12 to 200 inches in diameter, while non-reinforced pipe normally runs from 4 to 36 inches in diameter. Both are used for pressure and gravity sanitary sewers and are subject to corrosion due to acid and shear and beam breakage when improperly bedded. Now let's look at two types of flexible pipe. First, steel pipe. Steel pipe rarely is used for sanitary sewers, but when it is used, it usually has an interior coating of polymeric, bituminous, or asbestos material, and usually ranges from 3 to 12 inches in diameter. These pipes are subject to corrosion, excessive deflection, and turbulence abrasion. The second type of flexible pipe is thermoplastic pipe. There are three basic types of thermoplastic pipe used for pressure and sanitary sewers. Acrylonitrile butadiene styrene, or ABS. Second, polyethylene, or PE. And finally, polyvinyl chloride, or PVC. ABS usually runs from 3 to 42 inches in diameter and is subject to stress cracking, excessive deflection, and rupture when improperly bedded. PE normally runs from 4 to 48 inches in diameter and is subject to stress cracking and excessive deflection. Now PVC runs between 4 to 27 inches in diameter and like the others, it's subject to excessive deflection. Now there are many other types of pipe that you may encounter in your work, such as cast iron, vitrified clay, ductile iron, and thermoset plastic, and your manual covers those. All these different pipes are joined with a variety of different materials. The type of material used depends upon the type of pipe, the application, and the conditions under which it will be used. Now let's look at a few of the joint materials. Push-on pipe joints are continuous elastomeric ring gaskets that seal the joint when they are compressed between two lengths of pipe. There's also a mechanical compression joint of this type of material. When used on pressure sanitary sewers, these are subject to separation if not properly installed. Bituminous pipe joints involve the use of hot poured or cold packed material as the joint seal. Reliable watertight joints are not assured. Cement mortar pipe joints involve mortar placed into the joint to provide a seal. Again, a watertight joint is not assured. These joints may crack due to the pipe movement. Elastomeric sealing compound pipe joints are made up of two compounds mixed together and applied using a caulking gun. When properly applied, it will provide a watertight seal on a gravity sanitary sewer pipe. Solvent cement pipe joints use a solvent cement to bind joints of a thermoplastic pipe such as PVC or ABS. A good seal can be obtained if the compound is applied properly. Heat fusion pipe joints are accomplished on polyethylene type pipe by heating the ends and then forcing them together. A watertight seal can be achieved if done properly. Mastic pipe joints, normally used on irregular or non-round pipe joints, 
Use a mastic material applied with a trowel or caulking gun. Ceiling band joints are ceiling bands made of special rubber and applied over a non-circular pipe joint on concrete pipes. Now being familiar with these different types of pipe and the joint material used will help you recognize possible defects during your inspection.